Okay, this is uh, after we've cleaned up all our fossils and laid them out to dry. We got the crummy ones to give away to school kids here on the newspaper. We'll give those to school children and maybe school teachers who uh, attend any of our lectures. Or I go and lecture them. And these are the partial ones and slightly broken. The more pristine whole ones we keep for ourselves. And um, these nicer ones are here on this poster board, white poster board. The top whole ones, now, out of all of them, really, we only have one that could really pass for a uh, museum quality specimen. That's this one. It's pretty darn clean, almost perfectly clean. This is the one I got excited about on the video when I found it. Again, this is the icon brachiopod. That is, it's the most picturesque seashell fossil. It's very large. For the Ordovician, this is a large seashell, large fossil seashell. By today's standards, are very small compared to modern day sea life. However, for back then, it was a big one. This one has a lot of crud still stuck to it. A lot of matrix still attached and you can't really do much about that. You can try to chisel it off a little bit but it's not worth the effort. You just try to find the better ones. This is the Hebertella all cleaned up now. It's kind of crummy to be honest. Connor's uh, big eyes at Telus. This was interesting. This was a big. Uh, this is a trace fossil. I'll come over here. This was. I just washed this one up. Still a little bit wet. But uh, this is a long trilobite burrow. And let's just see it. See the end of it. I describe them almost like a. If you had a clay cigar and you flattened it out, it looks like that. Usually find fragments not much longer than. Uh, than a cigar because just the the upper layers of the earth break these things up into segments they don't get much larger than that. I mean they do you'll see them laid out you could find actually three or four feet of length if you got lucky but the point is they're always cracked and broken you never find them an intact three foot long one just doesn't happen here is a rock this is a neat rock that uh, shows the seafloor sediment and it shows the burrows probably of trilobites the seafloor ooze, the soft, soft seafloor mud can be covered up quickly by finer particles of silt and all the little indentations and trail markings of uh, snails going through, worms going through, and trilobites going through the burrows in the soft mud can be fossilized. And that's what you're looking at right here. Here's my finger for size. So there's several, several trilobite burrows. One, two, three, four. You get the idea. That was kind of a neat one. It's on a big slab of rock, though. So you gotta, gotta put these things around your yard. Okay, this is Keegan's part of this. Keegan collected uh, this part. Keegan uh, collected most of the ones on the right side of this poster board. These are cephalopods. Shells. It looks like he found out about half a dozen whole ones. That's about what I found too. That's a good one. Well, this one has some growth lines on it. Here's some of the rocks I filled in with the raffinus cleaners. Anyway, so that's what we found on our trip. We had a good time. Um, We're all new to science. Right here at the office, we weren't down.